Slyke to the broadcast booth. He is, of course, one half of our Dynasty World Tag Team Champions. Welcome to the booth, Bruce. Hey, thanks for having me. Take it long enough to get here. I apologize, man. I got to run around. And it looks like Big Jim Anderson is the one doing the running right now. What do you make of this contest? Ooh. I see a couple of guys who wish they were as big as Brute Van Slyke trying their damnedest. Well, we got Travis in the corner there thinking he's all big and jack with his uh, dad toy. Well, we'll have to agree to disagree on that, of course, but I'm sure I don't agree to that. I'm sure you and I feel probably about the same way about Big Jim and Mr. Man. I'm not I'm not exactly a big fan of those guys. I, I don't know who this Mr. Man guy I think he is, but there's only one man in Dynasty, and that's my tank partner, Captain the Man Graham. So I think he should uh, take that jacket off. And, uh, you know. Well, with the gold around your waist, there's no argument to be had right now as Big Jim in the wrong part of town. And here comes Travis. Well, is Travis the uh, gritty or the pretty? I believe he is the pretty. Although, don't quote me on that. A guy the size of Big Jim, well over six feet tall, coming crashing down. There's no easy way to do that. It's pretty and gritty. Have the fans in Johnstown on their feet. What's he doing? He's taking his time. He should be on him. Jim's twice his size. And now he's going to try to buy slam. Me wrong with this guy. Make an awesome point right there, Brute. Went for the slam, unable to do it. And it looks like things are going to tilt in the opposite corner despite these chants of Travis from the fans. Yeah, see, that's a problem with wrestling today. Got all these little guys thinking they're big guys. Well, I... They're trying to do things they just can't pull off. Well, it's, it's good to have a big guy like yourself here in the booth. I hope that as a little guy, I'm doing this okay for you. Yeah, you're doing all right. Thank you very much. And now Big Jim in control, which, as you mentioned, is a direct result from not following up the way he probably should have on Travis's part. Belly to belly, or chest to chest at least. Yeah, that was a nice suplex, but it was no brute-plex, let me tell you what. And now this, this surprises me right here. I didn't think that Mr. Man would be getting involved in this match at all, but I guess now is the time to do so. Dorian on his back, I guess that would be the best time for him to try. Mr. Man not even taking off his jacket, like you said he should. Yeah. Not taking off his hat, going for the pin, and only a one count. 
tag is made, and here comes Big Jim Anderson once again, not even through the ropes. <laughs> bear paw. Good old bear paw right there. And now using the ropes for a little bit of leverage right now, choking the life out of Travis. And now Jim arguing with senior referee Rob oh Vincent as Mr. Man. You're not gonna let me get away that, are you? Well, Hightower staying over in his corner. Hightower now calling for Travis, and wow, did you see that? That's like dropping a building down on your neck. And I, I saw a tag, but I'm not sure if it was, if it was necessary. I'm not sure who the. Jim might want to. Well, now we get another tag. You might want to watch it. Travis is already in his corner. And now Mr. Man going for another one count, and he got two that time. Oh my God! I've been in the ring with Travis a time or two. He's, he may not be the biggest, but he's got some guts. He's got some guts. He's got some heart. And now, there he goes. now you see that. And he walks right into a uh, clothesline. Well, he had his eyes set on Mr. Man and failed to see Big Jim Anderson in his peripheral vision. Well, and in his defense, Mr. Man is wearing bright red. It's hard to miss him for sure. Yeah. I wonder. Better. I wonder if the bull is going to see that red and assume that he's yelling Toro. And now Jim. Nice, nice segue. Nice segue. And here he comes. Here he comes. He's got a kick to the face. Big man from the Lone Star State takes a big fall right there as Jim covers him, but only a one count. Fresh as a daisy is Bull Hightower. I see Big Jim trying to do my uh, big F and Larry out there, but only got a one count, so what does that tell you? Well, I mean, once again, you're the champ. Yeah, and I beat Hightower with that Larry. Whoa, colliding in the air. That's like a... It was like, that's, how you, that's how you make a Big Mac at McDonald's. That was like two particles colliding. You, know, you just throw two, two all beef patties in the air like that. And they melt together with some cheese. Oh, well, you're making me hungry. Let's try and focus on the action. Is now, I don't know why Travis wants to get back in there after everything he's been put through so far. Well, I told you he's got guts. I didn't say he's got brains. And it looks like he's filled the tank back up with gas as Hightower. Now Hightower. Hightower's uh, holding on. There you go. Travis Dorian. Here comes Travis like a, a flying burrito. Flying forearm yeah. and, a, and, a, and a tag to Mr. Man, who would seem. Mr. Man has a tip. This, oh, hats off. this is the first time Mr. Man has gotten in the ring with his opponent on his feet. Not sure how this is gonna go. Uh, oh, here comes the, here comes the jacket. Jay Lawler pulling down the strap. The jacket is off. And I don't know if you folks can see everything going uh, on, but the big men are fighting on the outside, which means Mr. Man is all alone right now. Oh, we got ham and potatoes neck breaker. On the outside. Sweet baby. Oh, oh, there goes there goes the floor. So it looks like I know who my... Well, ladies and gentlemen, the match is over, but it looks like Big Jim Anderson... They lost. They should just leave. They should be thankful they ain't got to face me and Kevin Graham. It's getting a little ridiculous. You know, you know what? what? Brute, Brute, what the hell are you... Brute. Brute? Uh, Bro Brood, Brood, are you gone? He's gone, guys. Brood fans like just left the ring, and and now a big Jim, you son of a. Wait a minute! Here comes Brood. Well, Brood just woke up Hightower, and now Brood, Hightower, and Travis Dorian. Trust me. No, from the north. You should be lucky you lost. I ain't got to deal with you. 